how you told her that your dad sang different strokes. We were all like, whoa, we didn't know that. We knew growing pain. We didn't know he had that baritone voice. Yeah, well, actually, my dad uh, is more of a songwriter than a singer. I like the different but strokes. No, me. yeah, he actually sang with two other guys. It was like a, it was a three guys, you know. It, yeah. it was like he was one of them. I can always pick him out at the end. Different strokes rule the world. I can like pick Does him out. Does he do that too? Uh, he must have. Yeah. Yo, he must have. Robin, I always wanted to ask you because you're the son of Alan Thicke, and because now we're finding out all the stuff about him, we find out he has all this soul in his background. <laughs> what What was played in your house when you grew up? Well, actually, uh, my dad was more of a rock and rock and roll guy. He liked Bruce Springsteen wow. and, and the Beatles. My mom, she played uh, Aretha and Whitney and uh, Luther Vandross and uh, Stevie in the house all the time. Wow. So I got I got all my soul singer from uh, influence from my mom, and my dad was uh, playing the rockers. And now, at this point in your career, you met all those people. I have gotten to meet most of them, yeah. And I'm surprised, like, have you gotten a chance to Stevie say, yo, I love your stuff, you, can you help me out? And oh, yeah, sure, Stevie now, needs my help. <laughs> but I'm just saying, Robin, because everybody's singing your plays, and I remember no. um, 50 Cent was in here singing your praises one day, one day because he, you worked on his last album. That's right, that's right. Actually, I, one of my favorite stories with 50 was uh, I did a show in Los Angeles at the House of Blues mm -hmm. for my last album. And uh, I go through the whole show, and uh, nobody had heard the song 50, and I did yet. And I tell the audience, I was like, uh, you know, I want to play you guys this song. I did this new song on this artist. I think you guys are really going to like him. <laughs> and I'm like, uh, when you hear this song, you're going to like it. And I started playing it, and all of a sudden, 50 Cent walked out. He walked out on stage. The crowd yeah. went bananas. So then, then, then we did our song, and then we did... Uh, um, uh, in the club together, and I'm I'm gangster walking across the stage, you know, I got to shot with a limp. When it was a shot with a limp, I love that. I was walking across the stage with a limp. Yo, this is <laughs> ill, Robin, because I feel like, you know, I'm actually a fan of yours, because I remember me, we were all just sitting here talking, and we were arguing, because I was talking to Jay, who actually is right here with the camera, yeah. and we were talking about how, you know, when you first came out with the long hair, with That's Andre right. Harrell, right. and um, I actually, it's funny, because I never knew that you put out that album, Yeah. and actually one of your uh, homies yeah. over here pulled out the full album, so you're working on your Third. Third album. Wow. So, do you feel like it's finally come full circle? Because you worked hard. I saw your your journey. <laughs> like, yeah. Yeah. Well, I mean, you know, also uh, for me, I was blessed enough to uh, have a record deal when I was 16. Uh, I was signed at Interscope Records when I was 16. I, actually, I was working with Brian McKnight, and my friends called me Brian McWhite. Wow. <laughs> 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 I was a kid, you know, I was, I was singing like him. I was, uh, and then uh, then I, I got to write songs and produce songs for other artists. For a few years, and um, I kind of stopped. Uh, Do we know like some stuff? Oh, well, I mean, no, it, it was uh, at, at, when I was 16. It was Brandy's first album. The, the first, like the one. First album, yeah. Always on. Um, which one yeah. did you do? Love is on my side. It was a ballad. Oh, I know, because that, that, that was the best Brandy album. Well, it was yeah. the best Brandy album. No, I, I was very blessed to somehow always end up on the artist's biggest album. Like, I didn't I didn't even write the wow. hit, but I was on uh, Aguilera's biggest album, Mark Which, Anthony's biggest album. Was it beautiful? Uh, I don't remember. Okay. No, the one before that, her first one. Oh, wow. Her okay, Genie in a Bottle. And I didn't have nothing to do with it. I just got, I was just lucky to be on it. Wow. <laughs> but that was when I was like from 16 to 20, I, I wrote and produced for a lot of people. So when you were riding on the bike in the video, how old were you? I was 23. Wow. Okay. And Andre Harrell, I met Andre Harrell when I was 22. He was actually in the car. He, he was uh, um, when we dropped That's dropped what somebody the told me. Yeah. So he was in Philly. Well, he wanted to come with me. You know, he's he's been a mentor to me uh, the whole time. And every once in a while, he joins me for a couple days just to I love uh, that. enjoy enjoy the uh, the process. We have no Diddy and never Andre Harrell. Yeah. So a little I mean, lesson right there. Yeah. You know, and and uh, he's got so much knowledge that it's good for us to soak it up whenever we can. Wow. But well, we are in the studio live. And Robin, think ladies, make some noise. Woo! And the ladies are not even just here to make some noise. We're going to talk to Robin this morning. You want to talk to him, 215-263-1003. Uh, of course, uh, 800-232-1003. Also, log on to the website so you can see and be in Lion's world, you know, interactively. And uh, it's 100.3 to be interactive hip-hop and R&B. This is a good time.